Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. I am in the Woodstock Museum. This is the old council chambers that I'm in right now. And why I am here is I wanted to show you guys what the 10 to 18, the Canon 10 to 18 is like for doing interiors inside. So architecture, interiors, inside a building. What you can do with a 10 to 18. Bear in mind that most of your kit lenses, 18 to 55, 18 to 135, the various kit lenses, they stop at 18. So this gives you all the way to 10. And what you're seeing behind me right now is at 10 mil. If I zoom in to the 18 setting, which would be as wide as you've got on most of your kit lenses, this is what you're seeing. So this is at 18 mils. And if we zoom out to 10 mils, this is what you get here. You get to see the whole room. And you can see that you don't get to see a whole lot of the room here, as you see, at 18. So I'm just gonna do some, uh, some samples. I'm gonna show you the various rooms at 10 mils, the wide, and at 18. And again, we're at 18 right now, and we're pretty zoomed in tight on this room. This is 10 mils, the wide. Let's have a look. And here's the council chambers from the other end of the room. And what you're seeing here again is the 10 mil wide. You get to see a lot more of the room. If I zoom into the 18 setting, this is all you get to see of the room. And this is all you would have if you were using again, an 18 to 55 or something like an 18 to 135. Where the 10 to 18 also becomes helpful, or any ultra wide also becomes helpful, is when you have a situation like this, where you're in fairly tight to your subject and that may be dictated by where you are. You just don't have the room to back up. Well, all of a sudden you can get a shot like this using the 10 mil on the Canon 10 to 18 or another ultra wide using the wide end. Whereas if you were at 18, this is what you'd be looking at the 18 mil widest on your regular zoom. Have a look at the uh, shot without me in it. That's 18. And that's the 10 mil wide setting. Here's another shot. This is a little display of old stoves in a corner under the stairs here. I'll see if I can show that to you where we are. You can see there's a staircase here. And then when we come down, in the corner under the staircase, we have this shot. Now, I haven't actually been in here with an ultra wide before, and I haven't even been able to get this shot until I came in today with the 10 to 18. This is what you're getting at 10 mils, and if I didn't have the 10 to 18, and I was only shooting with an 18 to 55 or 18 to 135, this is the best I could do. Let me see if I could recenter that a bit for you. So that's probably the shot I would get right there, whereas, Having the 10 to 18 on here, I'm able to get this shot. And I can frame that however I want here to set it up, but there you go. The other side of the room, again, has another staircase going up with another exhibit, an old fire exhibit underneath. And again, it illustrates it perfectly. This is the shot at 10 mil. And here's the best we can do at 18. Here's where I'm even using the advantages of the 10 mil to illustrate that shot for you. Because at 10 mil, you can see the staircase, you can see the exhibit under the stairs, you can see what the setup is here. But if I zoom in to 18, you really didn't get an understanding of that that much. Whereas the 10 mil setting here gives you a much better idea of what we're talking about and the situation we're shooting in. This exhibit here is another great example of being indoors in a really tight shooting situation. We're actually in a hallway. There's not a lot of room here. And I am standing very close to the camera and behind the camera isn't a lot of room. However, with the 10 mil, I'm able to show you guys this whole exhibit. You can see the whole shot. If I come into 18 mils, you can see that you can't see anywhere near as much of the exhibit. It's really cutting out a lot of your background, a lot of what you might want to talk about. This exhibit is an old casualty clearing nursing station or what we would call a triage setup. And you've probably seen me shoot this before for regular viewers, you've probably seen shots from this and footage from this, but this is 10 mils. Again, we're in a fairly narrow hallway beside the exhibit and without the 10 mils, I couldn't get this shot. If we were reduced to 18, we'd be very close in like this and you just don't have the ability to show 
full perspective of what we have over here. Here we are again at 10 millimeters. This exhibit has the Oxford Rifles and some exhibits from the Boer War behind us and the War of 1812. And being able to shoot here at 10 mils, you can see the whole room pretty much that I'm standing in. The best you're gonna get at 18, it's pretty zoomed in. Now if I was shooting that as a photo, I would recompose that probably like this. Again though, being at 10 allows me to get in and show you a much better picture, a much better background when I'm shooting at 10 than, for instance, up close to this, I can still get in, I could be in tight quarters, I can show you the exhibit without having for it to look something like this, which definitely takes away from the image. I think we can all agree, this looks much better. I made my way over to the organ exhibit, these guys here, which regular viewers have probably seen before. I've done lots of shots of these over the years with various cameras. And again, this 10 mil setting allows us to see the hallway here that they're in, and you can get an idea of exactly the situation. So if you're doing architectural or indoor, say you're a uh, real estate agent, you wanted to showcase the house, 10 mil is gonna help you out a lot to see the whole thing as opposed to if you were trying to shoot at 18 mils and this is as wide as you can show your client or show your viewers. 10 mils works a lot better. Same thing with the barbershop exhibit behind me here. As you can see, many of you have probably never seen this exhibit. Let me get out of the frame. From a wide perspective like this to see how the exhibit actually looks when you're walking up. Most of my shots have been more close-ups. And that's because, again, I haven't been able to get in here with a wide angle before. Now that I am in with a wide angle, you get to see the whole perspective. You get to see kind of a bird's eye view of what it would look like when you're walking up to look at this exhibit. Again, perfect type of situation to demonstrate if you're in tight spaces, if you're indoors, if you're in small rooms, why you want an ultra wide angle like the Canon 10 to 18 and what the 10 mil setting on there can do for you. I'm in the back stairwell now and there's a weather vane exhibit here behind me. And again, this looks pretty cool on 10 mil. I've shot this before, but I haven't been able to show you the whole width of the exhibit from the way you would naturally perceive it when you walk in. And with 10 mil, makes for a really neat setup to show you what it looks like in here. And um, here, I'll show you 20, uh, not 20, 18 mils. So this is about as good as you're gonna get if the widest you can go is 18. But when you have the Canon 10 to 18, bingo. You get a much more interesting background and a much more interesting setup, both for video and for photography. So I hope you can see having gone through this little walkthrough of the Woodstock Museum here, which is a great and interesting place to show you examples and photos of what an ultra wide angle can do indoors. Uh, I hope you can see how much of an advantage it could be if you're shooting indoors a lot, if you're shooting in tight situations, and if you're vlogging or if you're doing a lot of video. Uh, it's definitely a lens you want to consider and for the price, it's a great value. Once again, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll see if I can get them answered for you. If you have any feedback on the 10 to 18, if you own it, if you shot it, let us know what you think. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.